What up? What up? Wimbush here and Quixel's back. So it's funny. I was literally just recording a video on how we could get our assets over from the fab store when I was inside of Unreal Engine 5.6 and I realized this. So if I come up here to where we have this box that says quickly add the project, I'm going to left click on this and then I'm going to come down to Quixel Bridge, right? So with this opened up, of course, we're going to get this update plugin thing in here. I'm just going to exit this out and I had to sign in. But the one thing that I realized is, is I came down here and I did this one right here. I clicked on this material. I noticed that we now have the download button again. So I did it again. I clicked on another object. The download button's there. And then I come over to this object right here. Same exact thing. So let me actually download this. I'm going to download the high quality one. Just going to hit download. And you can see that it's starting to download this asset. Now, before the end of 2024, I did redeem all the Quixel assets. So I do have everything inside of my library here. But if we look back down here, you can see that it downloaded it. And then I also have access to this add button. So I can hit add right here. And boom, there we go. The content browser opened up. And just like before, how we were used to a couple of versions back, it just brought in my Quixel assets. But not only do we have access to the Quixel Bridge and the library inside of it, we also have access to the Material Blend as well, which I did a tutorial on how we can manually do it inside of 5.5, but with 5.6, everything is there again. So with my material selected, if I just come back down here and click on this button right here, where we have like these three levers, left click on this, and this is just going to bring up your material blend. So I'm going to leave a link to my tutorial that I did in the past on how to do this because I don't need to redo that again. But it's nice to have this create material blend function back inside of Unreal Engine. So I just wanted to make this quick video because I was really excited once I accidentally stumbled upon this inside of Unreal Engine 5.6, which I'm pretty sure the entire Unreal Engine community is going to be really excited to see. So leave me a comment down below if you're excited to see Quixel Bridge officially come back in the Unreal Engine. And until next time, stay fresh keep creating and I catch you in that next video. I see you soon. Take care.